Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to go through the very first pole here that I started window cleaning with and it's a hybrid pole. Now when I started with the hybrid poles, these were basically half the price of a carbon fibre pole so if you're on a budget, they're good enough for that. Okay, this pole has still got the original clamps that comes with it from X-Line. They're glueless clamps, can be adjusted, turning around these little knobs here to change the adjustments on the clamps to how tight or loose so you can move the sections up and down. You want it tight enough so you can keep the section in place so it's still and doesn't twist when you're using it, but you don't want it too tight because it's going to cause wear and tear on here quite quickly. And you've probably noticed if you watch my channel that I like using these clamps. They're from Facelift and they're the Phantom clamps and I've attached them to all the poles that I use. If I was still using a high mod pole, I'd definitely think about putting these on there for sure. These clamps are absolutely brilliant and I can't rate them enough. Like all poles, this is 25 foot, but if I only need 18 foot for 95 or 98% of my work, I can actually take off this section here to strip it down from a 25 foot pole to an 18. Obviously it gives you a big advantage. You've now got a lighter pole. To some of you, it might not make a difference, but when you're doing a large volume of work in a day, day in, day out, six days a week, it makes all the difference. And when you've got in here fitted inside the Exceed Innovations tubeless system, what I find is when I go to extend the pole, it stops. And this is the reason why. What happens is when you extend the pole, this bit goes up inside the pole as you extend it. But with this base cap and the small hole in the cutout there, it's too small to allow this bit to go through, which you'll see now. So as the pole gets extended, you'll see it just gets here, gets jammed and you can't extend your pole. So while the pole's set up like this with the end cap on, if you don't use the tubeless system and it's just a straight tube going up there, it's no problem extending the pole, reaching the windows. So yeah, this pole is no problem when you're extending it and you're reaching windows that are pretty much straight in front of you and there's no obstacles here. You can reach the pole no problem. You can use it. You can clean absolutely fine. But you will find problems because of the weight of the pole. When there are extensions in front of you and you're having to lean over a conservative roof to then hit a window, especially when it's offset at another angle, it can get a bit weighty. Now, when I was cleaning fascia soffits and gutters and I was in positions like this, because of the bend of the pole, it felt like I was upside down fishing. And when you're trying to reach the gutters, the fascias and the soffits, where it's over things such as this conservatory or other extensions on buildings, it definitely knackers your arms. So yeah, I wouldn't use this pole if you do a lot of this type of work in these sort of situations. Okay, to try and demonstrate how bendy these hybrid poles are, I know it's not a realistic angle for when you're cleaning windows, but being horizontal parallel to the ground, notice the bend that's inside this pole. Now one way to get out the problem of too much flex in the pole is when you extend the sections, don't fully extend them out. As long as you can reach what you're after, this will strengthen the pole and make it more rigid for you. Now, I guess when all poles are made, they have to have an element of flexibility in them, otherwise they're gonna break. With high mod poles, they're extra light compared to the other poles, and they're still gonna have some flex in them, but they're more rigid than this one, and be a little bit more lighter than this. With most hybrid poles, you find they're about 60% composite, which is like glass fiber, and 40% carbon fiber. Doesn't matter what type of pole you've got, they all need maintenance. I do mine once a week. Uh, so this is where having this pole is good because I watch YouTube videos on how to do that. And that's how I learn how to look after my waterfed poles. And now that I've got a high mod pole, I just employ exactly the same thing I did as looking after this one. So in summary then, it has been a good pole to get me started, especially when I was on a budget. It's taught me how to look after my poles and how to look after my gears so when I've upgraded them to more expensive kit. I know exactly how to look after it and get the most out of it for me. I had to learn a lot of tricks along the way and in cleaning windows, faces, soffits, gutters and so on. So yeah, it did see me through a lot of things. However, I went straight to a high mod from this pole and the difference was night and day. So that's why I wouldn't go back to a hybrid pole again. Now as this pole is a lot cheaper than a high mod or carbon fiber one as well, if any sections get worn or broken, they're also going to be a lot cheaper to replace. So when you're on a budget and in that first year, it's important you sort of think of these sort of things. 
when you're going to go out and buy your pole. Now, if you're someone who does window cleaning and you're starting out, you might use trad to do the bottoms and you're using water-fed pole to clean the upstairs windows where they're more difficult to get. You're not going to probably spend money on an expensive pole, so a hybrid pole might be our deal for you. So hybrid pole overall has been good for me, but I'm glad I'm not using it anymore. I've got loads of window cleaning work, so I need a more expensive range of pole to make it a bit easier on my back and shoulders, especially as I'm getting older. See you on the next video.